Hey, Shalom, I'm Israel. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. It's the brother Yachazak from Great Millstone, Dallas, and I just want to uh, curse Esau ass out on my lunch break, man. You know? Esau is, man, look, Esau is completely lost it, man. You know what I'm saying? We got articles flying all over the place, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they called in the cops on little kids and you know what I'm saying acting a fool on airplanes you know they are uh, they trying to conquer death but don't know how to live you know and the 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 the, the so-called white man is to the point now the world is obvious you know and the Lord ain't dealing with him man you know the Lord given him he done gave him enough rope to hang himself now it's only a matter of when the Lord kicked the chair from up under his ass man you know it says, uh, this is uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. It says, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, for who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. It says, for ye know now, uh, for ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. And then what's that's going to? Paul is going back into, uh, Paul is going back into, uh, Jacob and Esau account back in Genesis chapter 25, man. You see, oh, baby, it's uh, 27, if I'm not mistaken. But basically, man, Esau's time has run out, man. Everybody's pretty much hip to the dude, man. I mean, you still got your your, your few hangers on that still trying to uh, 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 make sure he get delivered or say he could be saved. But at the same time, man, according to prophecy, man, you got all the nations that's supposed to be his allies that's turning against him. The scriptures talk about the, uh, uh, the the other nations hating the whore, man. And Esau has done so many different things, man, to where he's being exposed, man. You know? Make better leg. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get a couple precepts. I'm, I'm uh, uh, straight out the dome, man. I right, make bare the leg. Yeah, man, we was talking about it on the, uh, uh, on the group chat earlier, man. Yeah, we was talking about it on the group chat earlier, man, how... This devil got to go, man. You know what I'm saying? Pedophile rings. Like I said, what about the pedophile ring, man? You had these guys, uh, you had this, uh, this group of guys who said, you know what, man? This pedophile, this pedophilia is getting out of hand. So they pretty much were, uh, created their own police force and was catching these pedophiles, man. And then the police told them to stop. You see? Hold on, man. Something ain't right. What's going on with this damn phone? Something ain't right. This phone tripping, man. Okay, there we go. Isaiah 47. It says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And that's going into the so-called white man, man. You see? The virgin daughter of Babylon is equated to the Edomites. It says, take the millstones and grind mill, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance. I will not meet thee as a man. And you know, uh, uh, um. It's so many different things. It's so many different things being exposed through the so-called white man. Because the uh, uh, I can't think of which one of those uh, Roth Rockefellers or Rothschilds mentioned uh, uh, the internet being should have never been created, you know. And uh, with the internet being as such a force as it is, Esau can't hide all the things that he had been hiding prior to the internet. You know, that's why all these things are being exposed on his behind right now. You see. Now, you got all these so-called white people talking about how they feel like they under attack. You know, you got all these, the, the, those uh, Edomites out there in South Africa talking about a genocide and shit. That's what I'm saying, man. A couple a couple Edomites dying, man, ain't no genocide. You see? That haven't happened yet, man. i show you. You want to see genocide? I'll show you genocide. I'll show you genocide. This haven't happened yet. <laughs> all right. Uh, Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14, that's genocide. Obadiah, that's genocide. That's what I'm saying, man. Y'all jumping the gun, man. Y'all putting the cart before the horse. You know? Y'all ain't under attack yet. You know? That's what I'm saying. All those kids y'all raped, y'all gonna have to pay for that. 
all those Israelites that y'all killed and raped and robbed and murdered, y'all gonna have to pay for that. You see, that perpetual hatred that's uh, 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 that's uh, accounted for in Ezekiel chapter thirty-five, man, that's real. You see. All right, let me see. Let me uh get to the point. Uh, uh Matter of fact, hold up. Okay, 14 and 6. Isaiah 14 and 6. It says, He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the other nations in anger, is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth in the singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at the uh rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon sing, since thou art laid down, no feather has come uh, has come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirred up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It had raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations, and all they that speak unto thee, art, uh, uh, and all those, and all they shall speak and say unto thee, art thou also become weak as we? And that's what's going on, man. Because Esau was so proud, man. When uh, when he split the Adam and dropped the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and all that stuff, you know, it made him so proud to where he. Decided that he will arm all the other nations, you see, and it goes into uh, the 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 plowshares being turned in uh, the pruning hooks being turned into weapons, man. They going from agriculture to war through Esau's sloppiness, man. You know, giving uh, uh, uh taking people's land and so-called liberating the land and messing everybody's stuff up, man. You got to pay for that, man. You got to pay for that. You see. It says the pump, thy pump is brought down to the grave. You know, Starbucks is out of there losing. Uh, 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 Toys R Us losing. All these other companies and corporations losing. Thy pump is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread up under thee, and the worms cover thee, going into uh, uh, death, man. Meaning they rulership is done, man. It says, and how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground? Which did weakest the nations, you know, and that Lucifer goes into the light bearer, man, you know, it's talking about the so-called white man. It's not talking about the spiritual demon Satan, man. Go back and look at the videos on. Just type in Great Millstone and, and Lucifer and see what happened, you know. It says, "For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation, in the uh, uh in the sides of the north." I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the Most High. You see? And now you got Trump. No, I said, now you got Trump acting like he coming up with this so-called space force that they probably been having for who knows how long. You see? Everything is about lies and deceit. Everything is about lies and deceit, man. Every single thing. It is to the point now to where you can't hide it no more, man. You see? You armed your enemy with missiles and you armed your uh you armed your enemies with the internet, man. You see? Yeah, yeah, Esau, your ass is worth a Google. You ain't gonna find much information, but it's plenty, it's enough. It's enough, you know, for prophecy to be fulfilled. You know, we feel like we under attack. It's a genocide in South, uh, uh, South Africa. Okay, okay. It says, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the size of the pit. It says, they that shall see shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did shake kingdoms and that's the internet that's what i'm saying the internet exposed your behind man to the point to where you like okay okay how we got how are we gonna turn this off how do we shut this down your net neutrality and all that madness no it's too late bro too late the pride of thine heart has deceived thee man you see the pride of thine heart has deceived thee so-called white man esau you through man you through <laughs> It says that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. It says, but thou art cast out like the grave, like an abominable branch. You see? You see? Eventually, all the other nations going to have their inheritance. You know what I'm saying? Being under the Israelites, the Israelites going to be in rulership. But you, 
It's going to be different, man. It's going to be different. It says, and as the raiment of those that are slain thrust through with a sword, they go down to the stones of the pit as the carcass trodden down underfoot. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities again. For I will raise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, cut uh, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant and the son and the nephew, saith the Lord. Now that's genocide. That haven't happened to you bastards yet. That have not happened to you yet. Now, you might be getting a taste of it or a small inkling, but now nah, it's a whole lot more Edomites that got the roll. Whole lot more. You see? Let's get over Obadiah real quick. Because I'm going to match that up with him uh, putting their nest amongst the stars, man. You see? It says, the vision of Obadiah. Obadiah 1 verse 1 says, the vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom, the so-called white man. Esau was changed to Edom just like Israel was changed, uh, just like Jacob was changed to Israel. You see? It says, Edom, it says, we have heard a rumor of the Lord, an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And that's the same thing he was saying in Isaiah. Is this the man? Is this the man that shook all the kingdoms? Is this him? It says, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart has deceived thee. You see? talking about you're going to send to the heavens you're going to be like the most high that's pride and what pride comes before what destruction baby destruction you see it says the pride of thine heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock that's what i'm saying man that's what i'm saying petra thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock you cave dwelling bastards straight up that's what i'm saying man job said he wouldn't even let his dog sit with you because you were trying to screw him Bestiality, homosexuality, uh, uh, transgenderism, the LGBT, all this is the work of the so-called white man. When the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, it was given to the so-called white man. It was given to the Edomites. Profane. Anybody that's profane is Esau, man. Outside the temple. Not welcome. Wicked. The border of wickedness, man. Everywhere they go, man, death follows, man. Says thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, meaning he's thinking in his mind, who shall bring me down to the ground? It says, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. You see? The Lord say, fuck your space program. The Lord put it on you to come up with a space force so he can smash that shit. All right, let's jump down. Yeah, Obadiah 1 and 6, man. It says, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Unicorn, baby. Unicorn, baby. Psalms 19. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all can use that. Y'all can uh, 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 go into that one on your own. I'm on lunch, so I can't get to it. But you know, I'm telling you, man, the internet is undefeated, man. And I ain't talking about for all no folly and all this BS and all this madness that these people got going. No, the internet is spiritually undefeated, man. You see, Esau would have been taken about, taken down without the unicorn, man. Without the spirit, the spirit of uh, without the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, putting it, putting it on these devils to create this internet, man. That was the worst thing they could have done, man. It says, "All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee." You see, it says they shall hate the whore in Revelations. You see. It says, and prevailed against thee, they that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him, man. You see? Because if, if Esau understood what the deal was, if Esau understood what the deal was, he'd be trying to repent. You know? But it wasn't meant, repentance wasn't, wasn't laid up for him. You see? It's a, uh, let me see. Uh, Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men of Edom? And understanding out of the mount of Esau. That's what I'm saying, man. Because you went from being wiser than Daniel. You went from being wiser than Daniel to the most sloppiest, the, to the sloppiest work ever. You see? And it's all because you got proud, man. It's all because you got proud.
All right. It says, "O thy mighty men, O teeming, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever, man." That's what I'm saying, man. We ain't, look, man. Chattel slavery, uh, uh, not letting us pass through when we uh, during the Exodus and all these different sins and all these different times where you had to be, uh, where you had the chance to be brotherly and you chose against it. Hey, hey, you know, the scriptures say you should have not, you should have not even looked at our affliction. You should not have even looked, let alone forward it. You see, it was a cutoff point, man, that you missed the boat. All right, it says, in the day that thou uh, stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that they became a stranger. That's what I'm saying, man. You rejoiced over that, man. According to Psalms 137, man, when you say it, race it, race it, burn it down to the ground, man. That's what I'm saying. You rejoiced at our downfall. You rejoiced at our downfall. So for perfect balance sake and for justice sake, favor got to be returned, man. Favor got to be returned, man. Y'all ain't going to be able to do shit sooner than you think, man. Sooner than you think. You know? All right, let me see where I left off at. Matter of fact, yeah, let me see. Let me get, let me get down to the end, man. I'm about done. I'm about done. I got a couple more precepts I want to get. It says, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done. It shall be done unto thee. That got to count for something. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have now drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon the Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be a holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. You see? The house of Jacob is going to possess their possessions. They land. Whatever. They land. They treasures. That's what I'm saying. The scripture talk about how we're going to suck the breast of the kings, man. Meaning we're going to take what they got. You see? And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau a stubble, man. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, what's her name? Uh, 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 Permit Patty. You know what I'm saying? And uh what's the other chick on the means? The big fat white bitch. The big fat white bitch that uh that uh uh, uh called a called the cops for somebody barbecuing. You know what I'm saying? You had that Edomite devil on the airplane talking about she done been to hell so many times and don't nobody wanna mess with her. You see? You got Donald Trump talking about his space force and all the shit he gonna do. This ain't going unnoticed, man. This is not going unchecked. The eyes of the Lord God are upon the scene for kingdom, man. You see? And that's going for Israel and Edom. It says, And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. So it ain't just me sitting in this car on my lunch break in captivity. The Lord said that, man. And the Lord's word don't go out void. You see? Yeah, man. But these, man, these devils, man, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. He know his time short, man. He know his time short. But I'm going to, uh, let me see. I'm going to end it on this, man. Ezekiel. Uh, let me see. Ezekiel 25. I want to say it's Ezekiel 25. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm saying. Y'all want y'all talking about genocide? Y'all talking about a genocide? It ain't here yet. You know what I'm saying? We got to be patient for y'all genocide, man. You see? This is uh, Ezekiel 25 and 12, man. For all you crackers and devils and peckerwoods and whatever y'all calling y'all selves or whatever y'all being called. You white, you so-called white people, man. You so-called white people, man. The Lord got it out for your ass, man. The Lord got it out for you and just and rightfully so, man. Ezekiel 25 and 12, it says, Thus saith the Lord God, because that Edom, the so-called white man, Esau, had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand against Edom. You see? You see? 
the Lord used Edom to kick our ass, and he going to use Israel to kick theirs. That's perfect balance. You see? It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will stretch out my hand uh, upon Edom, and I will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from teeming, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger. See, the Lord is more pissed off at Esau than we are. You got to take that into consideration, man. And the reason why I can say that, man, is because we got a whole nation of people, the, the Israelites. Two-thirds of our people want Esau to make it. Two-thirds of our people don't have no problem with him. You see? And it's only until the whole nation has that hatred, which the Lord is going to have to pull that off. You see? And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power. Thus saith the Lord power, because the Philistines have dealt by revenge and have taken vengeance and uh, and have taken vengeance with the despiteful heart to destroy it for old hatred. Okay, nah, that was it. That was it on that. You know what I'm saying? Now, but the Philistines, they going to get it too. The Philistines, they going to get it too. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't focusing on them. I'm focusing on you damn devils, man. Esau, Edom, the red man. That's what I'm saying. You ain't white. You ain't white. Matter of fact, I'm... Uh, hey, Isaiah 58. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Y'all That's what I'm saying. You bitches need to be in chains, man. Straight up. Straight up. Y'all need to be in chains, man. Y'all the worst thing to happen to the planet. Straight up. All right. Isaiah 58 and 1. It says, Cry aloud, spare it not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. And that's what I'm saying. And a part of Jacob's sins, man, is, is, is kowtowing to this white man. You see? Trimming your way to seek love. Changing up the doctrine. Turning into straight bitches, man. It says, wherefore we have fasted and say, and thou seest, wherefore have we afflicted our soul and thou hast, uh, and thou hast taken no knowledge. Behold, in the day. Oh, no, let, 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 me, let me jump down. Let me jump down. I'm looking for a certain scripture. Hold up. Oh, hold on, let me look for it. Uh. Okay, 58 and 10. That's okay. I was in the right chapter. But yeah, it says the righteous shall rejoice when he see it the vengeance. You see? It says the righteous shall, uh, Psalms 58 and 10, it says the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Now that, that's what I'm saying, man. Washing your feet in the blood of the wicked, that haven't happened yet. That's genocide, man. Isaiah 63, that's the, that's genocide, man. You see? That's the beginning, man. You're going to go into captivity, man, and then you're going to be eradicated. And it's going to be in the, uh, over a course of time, man. But that's what I'm saying, man. All your pedophilia, all your lies, all your bullshit, all your rape, robbery, murder, your GMOs. Is why you're in the position that you're in, man. So don't come talking to us about no uh, uh, no genocide and y'all feel like y'all under attack. Because first of all, the fact that y'all feel like y'all under attack, y'all finna come with everything y'all got. Huh? Y'all finna come with everything y'all got cause y'all feel attacked. That's what I'm saying. When you've been when you've been on the you've been on the offense since the Renaissance, nigga. But you feel under attack. <laughs> cause you was so proud that you put the internet out and then taught us how to read. Cause you thought it was gonna be more beneficial for you? Huh? Huh? Yeah, call her lawyer, how about show me how it shot, man. Straight up, man. This devil ass is fucking finished, man. You know? And any, any, anybody out there who want this so-called white man to go on, anybody out here who think the so-called white man can be delivered or be saved, anybody who ain't got a problem with the so-called white man, as long as he ain't messing with you, you through. And with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.